up, uh, watch Instagram, and I'll probably later watch YouTube as well. Um, new watch came in, as you can see on the box, Sal Baltimore. Uh, this is actually not my watch. This is going to be my wife's uh, Sal Baltimore. Uh, of course, this is the Torsk Diver that's in here. So I figured good time uh, to to do a quick unboxing so you guys can check it out. And again, uh, if you are watching this on YouTube later, um, basically doing, you know, I'm going to probably do my unboxing on Instagram for now and then post them later. So if you want to be here uh, to be in the chat when we do this, then uh, follow me on Instagram at Budding Watch Enthusiast. There's a link down below. Uh, Island Time Chris, what's up? Can't wait to get yours. Uh, it's in the mail, I'm pretty sure. And uh, TVWE is the best. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I totally agree. Um, what's up? And, and like I said, if you guys are in here, thank you for coming to check this out. Uh, let's not belabor the point. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, the Torsk Diver here. All right, what we got here? I'm going to try not to, um, I have to like kind of dive around the camera stand here as well. We'll look at this a little bit later. Uh, of course, one of the cool things that Alan does uh, that is completely unnecessary, and I uh, and nobody else probably should be doing this, uh, but he includes a watch winder, or at least has so far, with all of the watches that they come out with. So there you can there you go. You can see the Torsk in there as well. Polly WB, what's up, man? How are you doing this fine afternoon? Oh, by the way, if, if you guys do hear like sounds outside, it just started raining its ass off here in Baltimore. So uh, if that trickles in. My apologies. Just the watch, Dave. What is up? Yeah, like I said, going in the winder is really cool. Um, this will be my second Sal Baltimore watch winder. Uh, it's the only two watch winders that I own, uh, which I don't use very often. All right, how do you open this freaking thing? <laughs> this is the peril of doing a live, uh, a live look in it. This is, I have no idea how to open. Oh, there we go. Open from the top. So, boom. There we go. There's the Torso Diver. Uh, my wife opted for the orange and black bezel. Uh, she was kind of torn between a couple different ones. She wanted to do possibly the bronze. Um, ended up settling with the bronze and black, or with the orange and black rather. Thought about the steel bezel too, but uh, I think she thought the black would look a little bit better. And I agree. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is a big beefy boy. You guys can see here, super tall. Um, very cool looking watch. Of course, it has the uh, the case shape that I've really only ever seen on a Bremont Super Ocean, or not Super Ocean, the Bremont Supermarine. I was getting that and Breitling uh, conflated with each other. So yeah, the Bremont Supermarine um, is the only other watch that I've seen that has this, you know, crown guard that runs up the side of the case and then has the crown at the two o'clock position. Um, but yeah, there you go. So like I said, here's the side profile view of the Torse Diver. And yeah, Island Time Chris mentions the lug to lug's a little bit shorter even though the watch is tall. That is true, so it still might work with a variety of different wrist sizes. There's the crown guard on the side, signed with the Sal Baltimore T, which I think is loomed. It looks like it's loomed. We'll find out later once we, uh, once we really dig into it. Very cool. Let's go ahead and uh, pop that crown and give it a wind even though it's already running I think it's already set too. my so this isn't a true unboxing my wife got this at work um, earlier today and uh, I think she already messed with it a little bit so she was the first it is her watch after all she should be the first to be unboxing it but you guys can see there that uh, sapphire glass bezel underutilized in my opinion I don't think enough uh, companies use that beautiful orange sunburst dial Fantastic looking with the uh, chapter ring around the outside too with the minute tracks. Very, very cool. Really like the handset. This it's, it's a really, really great watch. Um, flip it over. We got the buckle here. Has my one of my favorite features, the uh, the ratchet micro adjustment, which probably need to undo this first to take advantage of. Is that like stuck in there? All right, we'll have to mess with this later. Oh, there it goes. Thing was in there pretty tight. So there you go, ratchet micro adjust, very cool. We're gonna pop it on real quick as well. We're just gonna take it out of the shot and put it on. 
so there we go torse diver um on my eight inch wrist so this is what that looks like yeah my wife hasn't even really gotten to really wear it yet because the, obviously the bracelet is not sized uh for her so i'll be taking care of that later tonight and helping her out with that uh, it also came with a two-piece uh black nato strap as well and uh, i think the bracelet if i'm not mistaken i'm going to take this off real quick has quick release pins as well which is also pretty great again not something that not enough companies uh, are doing so there it is guys uh, the unboxing the first look here at the sal baltimore torsk diver uh, really looking forward to getting some hands-on time with this but of course my wife is going to be spending the, the bulk of the time uh, with this up front as it is her watch so look out for a review on this probably in, in a couple weeks in a couple weeks until she gets her fill and then she'll kick it my way a little bit but uh very excited to check it out um good looking dive watch very cool it's got the torsk uh, branding on the side there all in all pretty dope also i'll flip it around too so you guys can see that custom rotor that the watch comes with as well very very nifty so that's it for this video uh if you guys checked out on instagram thank you for uh tuning in live with me if you did not follow me on instagram and whenever i get a new watch in it's going to get unboxed right here and uh thank you guys so much for watching this video uh if you're on youtube like it subscribe all that jazz uh keep an eye out later on for the full review of this bad boy and i will see you guys later